Hello again, Galera speaking, here to show you around the 1.1 update to the Age of Airships. The 1.1 Hanashima update provides both substantial new content for the mod, as well as upgrades and bug fixes. The update focuses around Imperial Japanese Navy theme, however it's not just limited to that itself. Entrable from a new entrance point aboard the Agamemnon, the IJN Yamato is a primary gem of the update. Serving as a player house, this battleship combines both relatively historical onboard locations as well as a simplistic workshop open area. A one-to-one -one scale exterior, Oi. more or less historically reconstructed, can also be used as a player workshop. The aft section scouter planes take you to the Commonwealth and Far Harbour. Light boats will take you to Hanashima Isle and Hoto Carrier. On the interior side, the officer's mess also serves as a miniature hub for transport around Hanashima fleet as well as your regular basic mod transports. The Izakazi destroyer and Yamada Shiki N3 serve as mere decorations, having no interior and any particular importance to the overall mod. They stand on the sidelines. IJN Hosho aircraft carrier serves as a major player house, providing a massive interior workshop space. On the side of the fleet lies the Hanashima Isle Settlement, a tiny little Japanese-styled village providing a land-based workshop and functionality of a playhouse for those not interested in being confined to bowels of a large vehicle. Outside the Japanese theme, we have the Nobile N5, concept semi-rigid airship in plans by the Italian Umberto Nobile Company. Both exterior, interior and general purpose of this airship remain a matter of speculation and must be treated as such. In-game, the ship serves as a player house with basic amenities at home. The U-69 German Kriegsmarine... Shh! Oh right, I forgot. The U-69 of the German Kriegsmarine, part of a super-secret Nazi Germany militarization plan in the 30s, is fully historical reconstruction of a World War II Type 7 U-boat. Not functional as a player house due to the immensely claustrophobic environments, it is still a mobile transport able to move around between Commonwealth and Far Harbour. For the convenience of the player, I installed a remove crew button, as well as a climatic shut the fuck up button. As always, the historical swastikas are disabled by default, with the ability to turn them on with the Hindenburg button. This pretty much covers all the new content of the mod. Now let's go to the fixes and changes for the already existing content. Firstly, lots of tiny fixes around the mod. Mirtha Airport will no longer have laser weapons, some pesky utility doors are now closed, many item offsets from single car bumpers, roofs and stuff have been corrected, two weird doors in Far Harbor got removed, some spelling details on the information plates are corrected, I taught some NPCs to use soap and wash their faces, we textured car wheels so they are more white and clean, one major change for the mod is the retexturing of USS Akron exterior with silver texture so as to fix the stripy looks caused by the texture packs. Relating to that is a retexture of USS Akron's and R100's interiors to remove that same choppy problem. I can't fix optimization crashes on missions, but I can do something about the Graft Zeppelin. I separated the interior into two cells, the balloon envelope area and the gondola area will load separately, putting less strain on your system, sacrificing loading screen time for optimization. And so the list of this update ends. I hope the new content is lots of fun while solutions implemented help out as best as they can. I'm off to work on the 1.2 mission focused update. See you around.